So I was raised as a middle class kid. And your, your opponent and Republicans have at times weaponized uh, you laughing in, uh, in campaign ads, for example. Why is joy important to you to insert into this election? And what do you make of, of Republicans using that as a way to suggest that you're not a serious candidate? Well, sometimes I think, and I'll say to whoever the young people are who are watching this, there are some times when your adversaries will try and turn your strength into a weakness. Don't you let them. I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. I'm just gonna be cool for a second. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. She's mad. Ow! Oh, look. Oh, my God. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Chico. Look at her. I mean, this is absolutely a different cat. Because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn, and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir.